Hey everyone, welcome to a Saturday in the life of a working, full-time working stay-at-home mom. So in this video, we're gonna talk about meal prepping, we're gonna do our zone cleaning and other various house projects. We're going to do our whole Saturday reset. So um, today's gonna be a little bit different because I have to cram a lot into one day that I normally wouldn't try to cram because we have an event to attend on Sunday. So, um, yeah, so here you see me just kind of like making a plan for the day and mapping out the goals. That it I is have. eight o'clock and the boys are awake. They're upstairs just chilling, watching TV. The girls are still sleeping. Um, so I decided to make a little outline for how I hope today will go. Whether I stick to it or not, that's up for negotiation. But um, I think I feel like I have a couple of things that I wanna fit in. So I was trying to think like, how can I pace myself to make sure that uh, I have time to do all the things I wanna do. I'm constantly reminded that it's important to like put time outside of yourself, you know, and kind of make time physical so you can kind of see and compare like where you are to like where you wanna be in the day. So like this isn't necessarily to just be like this strict rigid thing that I have to follow but it just helps me evaluate like where I am and compare that to my goals and where I wanna be because um, I got all day syndrome is real, time blindness is real and like I can sit here and like just waste several hours and not realize how, you know, I'm just not gonna have enough time to fit in the things I wanna fit in and then be like frustrated by the end of the day. So if I kind of map it out and like I decide to chill, at least I realize that, okay, I'm probably not gonna get, you know, X and X done. And that's okay with me, but, you know, let me just adjust my expectations. So this is what the little general outline is. And as I mentioned, it's flexible to change. So it's eight o'clock right now. And I, this is, well, I wasn't planning to do this today. I just threw it in there. I really want to try to revisit meal prepping to just get more consistent at eating healthy. So I'm, I'm gonna squeeze in a meal prep session today. I ordered some groceries for the house, but I didn't order anything to support my healthy eating goals. So I'm just gonna make a quick trip to Aldi to get the stuff that I need for meal prep. So Aldi's opens at nine. So in order for me to be there at nine, I need to start getting ready now. And I also need to make something really quick for the kids to eat breakfast. And then my goal is when I get back that I will make that meal that I, uh, the meals that I've planned. Um, I need to get my daughter's hair done. Um, we have a party that we're going to tomorrow. So I need to make sure that the hair is done today so it looks good for tomorrow and then I'll last it through the rest of the week. And then jumping down, we have like a little Halloween movie night. Hey baby! Hey boo boo! Good morning. Hello. 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 What's up, Daddy? Hello. What's up, Daddy? Anyway, we have a little Halloween movie night situation, and I've made plans to make this little, my first little charcuterie board for the kids, and it's gonna be super cute. And so I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I need to kind of make sure that the kids are ready for bed before then. So after we watch our movie, the kids can go straight to bed and they'll be prepared. So I wanted to make sure to have time to squeeze that in. And so that means I have these hours here, and some of those hours will be devoted to my typical Saturday and Sunday checklist. As I mentioned, we won't be home for a large portion of tomorrow. So I want to get as much of that done as I can. And so I'm going to see what I can do. But obviously, I'm going to have to rest at some point. It is the weekend, and I can't just be like a workhorse. So at some point, I will take a break. That is my plan. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top of the day. It's 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and start moving around and getting set up for the day. So 
So here you see me transitioning into my morning cleaning routine. As tempting as it is to just jump straight into getting dressed and running off to the store. Um, I know that it typically bites me in the butt. So when it, whenever it is possible, I do like to do a couple of my morning routines before I jump into the day. So that would just be dishes. Here I'm doing a load of laundry um, on Saturday mornings or Sunday. I usually wash the sheets for the children so I'll have the boys pull their stuff from upstairs I'll have pulled things off the girls' bed and wash their sheets and comforters and stuff from daycare um, this wasn't something that I always did it just kind of evolved recently since I started using my task management app tick tick and I just get these reminders so since I wash a load every day anyway I felt like this could be the load and here, me and the girls are getting fresh and going to take our showers and get ready for the day. Hey guys, so I'm just coming in to do a check-in. It is 9.10, so I am on my way to Aldi to go get the items. Just to get a couple more things that I realized we needed for the house, but primarily to get the stuff that I need for meal prep. So, um, I got the girls, like, dressed, got their showers and stuff, um, and I also took a shower and I wanted to like, you know, try to look decent. Like that's one thing I try to do, especially on a day like Saturday when I feel like I'm supposed to be resting, but no, I have all this stuff to do. I try to like dress up cause that kind of helps get me out of that like mentality of like, uh, I don't know the right word to use. <laughs> that mentality that I just have to just slave and do all the things, you know? And so usually dressing up helps me feel a little more put together and all that stuff. But like, I did not. I'm trying to like stick to my time goals that I set today the best as possible. And I just didn't have time to do it, but it's cool. This where they get you at all these. Are you trying to do the right thing? Stick to your budget. And then they have, you know, cast iron skillets for $9.99. The price of groceries right now, ridiculous. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Alright, so here you guys see me uh, starting off the meal prep journey. So this is a habit that like I have just really had a hard time getting to stick, but I know that I need to do this if I want to be prepared to eat healthy all the time. And I think one of the reasons that it's just hard for me to stick with this is because I think I just keep complicating it and I think I just continue to be a perfectionist about it. So um, I'm trying to follow the Fab Four Be Well by Kelly um, um, approach to eating. And she recommends just only planning for three days at a time because it's just, it just simplifies it. And then I also saw this other thing on TikTok where this girl was talking about she has a 3 2 one method. So three vegetables, two proteins, and one carb. And you know, every couple of days she picks another selection. So just anything I could do to like make a little easy framework. I'm gonna to try to implement that. And then I have some other thoughts. By the way, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I had a really traumatic story with these oats. So follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes Hey guys, drama. so it is 11, 10, and I think I'm almost done with meal prepping. Yep, a little casserole. I haven't had a casserole in so long because y'all know my kids can't eat like cheese and stuff. And I always feel like it's too, too much to cook for myself, like a whole family size meal, but I kind of like had a change of heart because I'm like, well, if I want to meal prep and be cooking for multiple days out, maybe it does make sense for me to cook a family-sized meal for one person. And then I have some veggies down there. 
that are getting their roast on. Got the overnight oats some uh, situation going on. These little bowls, by the way, my mom-in-law got these from the Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for like meal prep stuff, you don't want to spend like a lot of money. So anyway, um, I'm trying to decide when it comes to meal prepping, I think what I'm going to do is kind of just have a cutoff after the one hour mark. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that because I had intentions of like frying up some uh, chicken sausage to go with that. But I'm like, I don't want to like train myself to think that meal prep has to be this long, exhausting thing. So I think instead of calling it meal prep, maybe I'll just call it like a mill head start and do what I can for an hour and then get out of there. Because I just feel like when I eat these overnight oats tomorrow, since it's like already ready, I could just throw my chicken sausage in the air fryer or throw them all in the air fryer and then I'm done. Like I just want to, I want this to become like something that like doesn't stress me out and I'm like oh it's just an hour so maybe I'll just call it like a mill head start so I think I would, I'm done I'm gonna just kind of clean up and uh, wait for those last couple of things to finish up and then I'm gonna transition into um, doing the girls hair. so change of plan uh, I thought I was gonna start doing the girls hair but they're actually outside in the backyard they want to ride their bikes and kind of play their toys out there so um, I don't want them to be outside like with wet hair and I want them to play and burn some energy. So actually double change of plans. As soon as I started like getting into my desk work, the girls decided they wanted to come back in. And so we started taking their hair down. And then here I, you see me rotating some laundry. I was telling you guys about that task management app, <clears throat> Tick Tick. So I just have like all these random reminders throughout the day. And one of them is to rotate the laundry. So I have one that pops up for me in the morning and one that pops up for me in the afternoon. So I was like, yeah, cause I really wanna make sure that the sheets that I put in the wash earlier have a chance to make it into the dryer. So you see the boys helping me take that upstairs and they will put that away. And then I put on my plan that I had a quick lunch that I wanted to plan. So you know, you guys know the grilled chicken nuggets and fries. Um, so in my Tick Tick app, a couple weeks ago, especially for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw where I set up some zone cleaning projects for the entire month, and I broke my zone cleaning projects down into these small bite-sized goals. So this is one of my bite-sized goals for today, which is to wipe out and kind of clean this shelf in my pantry. So I have a plan to just go through each of those little by little throughout the month. All right, guys, we're making great progress in the pantry. We got the floor level done. Honestly, I wish I would have started top down because like as you clean upper shelves, like it things fall to the ground, but whatever. So my goal is to refresh the whole thing by before the end of the month, the end of next month. And we're just gonna go one shelf at a time. So uh, that's looking better. So we'll do the next and the next and the next and the next. All right, this is the next little home project that I have for the month, which is to make this basket of doom just feel just a little more organized, okay? So um, just like with the pantry, I'm just gonna take one bite out of it today and just do it little by little. So first step is to go through and see which of these things is no longer a good fit for us anymore. Like my philosophies on natural hair care have changed a lot in the last couple of months. So I know that I'm gonna have a lot of products that I'm not gonna put on use with the girls anymore. So if I can find anything like that, anything that's just not, you know, doesn't make sense for their age, stuff like that. And then um, I'll be done with that step for today. Oh, I think I should clarify what I was talking about earlier with planning out my zone cleaning and um, putting all that stuff in my task management app, Tick Tick. So basically, yeah, I created all these different goals for my zone cleaning and then I broke them down into steps and then I have different steps scheduled for different days. So I looked at my Tick Tick app and it said, oh, this is what you have planned for today. And that hair accessory stuff, I ended up doing way more than I thought I was gonna get done. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just go get my hot girl walk done because that was scheduled and I didn't have a chance to do it that morning. So I just went and got it done. And then on to doing hair. Today, we're just keeping it simple, y'all. 
Hey y'all, it's 3.46, so I'm checking in again. I'm tired. I would say that most of the heavy lifting of the day is done. So I'm just going to rest here for a couple of hours. Hubby is with the kids and I'm just gonna take a very much needed break. Um, got both the girls' hair done. So that is uh, the biggest thing that needed to be accomplished today. And I just kept it super simple. Um, I just did some pony, like a big old ponytail. And um, I feel like ponytails don't really last. Like if I do a singular ponytail, it doesn't really last for the whole week. It doesn't look great by the end of the week, but like it's fine. Therefore, you know, they'll be fine. Um, whereas like smaller, more intricate styles, it looks better longer, but some weeks are just like that. You just, I just need to throw something up and uh, keep it moving. So that's what I did. Have our little Halloween thing tonight. So basically that's not going to be a big deal at all. I'm just going to make dinner. Uh, I have some like chicken wings that just need to be thrown in the oven. They're, they're like buffalo wings. So they're already like seasoned and stuff. And then I got some little popcorn chicken for the girls because they don't really like the buffalo wings. And then I'm going to like make a charcuterie board. And uh, with that, basically, I'm just going to dump their dinner onto a cutting board and put some snacks around it. <laughs> that's as a charcuterie as we're going to get in this house. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I think that's the most important thing that I could do today is just make sure that we get our little movie family night in. And everything else is not superly urgent um, and can be pushed to tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I feel pretty good about the trajectory of our weekend. Um, I know that a big portion of our day will be, will be out the house tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of push myself a little harder than normal just to make sure that um, we got like the most important stuff done and then tomorrow um, won't feel so stressful. So I feel very good about that. So um, so I'm going to rest. I don't know if I can sleep. Y'all know I took that energy drink and I took a walk, but um, I'm going to try. And if not, maybe I'll do a little bit of reading. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and wrap this vlog up. I may show some clips of our little charcuterie board and movie night, but I think that yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. Thanks so much for spending Saturday morning and afternoon with me. And, um, I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye. All right, so here's my first crack at a charcuterie board. Um, totally not gonna be the fanciest one that you've ever seen, but you guys, my kids were so impressed by this charcuterie board. We ended up just watching a magic show and it just was really easy to make and it elevated the whole experience. So anyway, if you haven't tried one, I recommend that you try it. Just throw some snacks on a cutting board and make it feel festive. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and um, it would help me out greatly if you supported the channel by subscribing and engaging and liking and commenting and doing all the things. Um, but until next time, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.